Larry Morphew in a Chafee County courtroom today where new text messages reveal trouble in his relationship with his wife, Suzanne Morphew, now missing for more than a year. Barry Morphew just wrapping up day two of his preliminary hearing. He's facing first degree murder charges despite the fact that Suzanne's body has still yet to be recovered. Fox 21's Lauren Sharp just stepping out of the courtroom. So, what did you learn about what happened over Mother's Day weekend last year, Lauren? An FBI agent revealed that a discovery of a cap to a tranquilizer dart was found inside the Morphew home. Also, he found that Suzanne had been sunbathing the day before she was reported missing, and she sent selfies to her lover that was states away. As well as the investigators talked about that they tracked Barry Morphew's every single move by cell phone as well as his truck data. Suzanne was reported missing on the evening of May 10th. One day earlier, FBI agent Johnny Grusing said she sent a selfie as she sunbathed at home to her lover, Jeff Libler, around 2 o'clock. Morphe returned to the family home from work just after 2.45. Investigators say his phone was on airplane mode at the time and didn't switch out of that mode until after 10 p.m. An analyst testified that data from Morphe's truck showed the power was removed around 5.30 and the system was rebooted. The analyst could not explain why. Suzanne's cell phone pinged for the very last time just before 4.30 a.m. on May 10th. Morphew said she was asleep when he left around 5 a.m. for a job in Broomfield. And today in court, we saw evidence of trouble between the two. Just days earlier, Suzanne sent this text to her husband. I'm done. I could care less what you're up to and have been for years. We just need to figure this out civilly. On Mother's Day, Morphew traveled to Broomfield and made five trash runs on the way to his hotel. Video surveillance captures those stops, but Morphew did not tell investigators what he threw out. The FBI agent mentioned Morphew changed his story when he got the call Suzanne was missing. He said initially, Morphe told investigators he was working at the job site, but hotel surveillance puts him in the hotel room. The couple's two daughters have been in the courtroom yesterday as well as today. They have been mouthing the words, I miss you, and also blowing up Barry Morphe kisses. Tonight at 6.30, I'll talk more about details of that dart cap that was found at the Morphe home. Reporting outside the Chafee County Courthouse, Lauren Scharf for Fox 21 News. Lauren, it is painting the picture that the Morphew's relationship was not perfect like Barry Morphew told Fox 21 last year. Today in court, we're learning about details of the Morphew's relationship before Suzanne disappeared on Mother's Day of 2020. Her husband, Barry Morphew, charged with first degree murder in her disappearance. Day two of his preliminary hearing just wrapping up. Well, Fox 21's Lauren Scharf has been inside the courtroom. Yesterday, we learned Suzanne had an affair. What did we learn about Morphew today? The state mentioned multiple dating websites that they claim Barry Morphew searched, and that include uh, Ashley Madison as well as Celeb Jihad. When this was brought up, Morphew was visibly upset, and he even sat up in his seat in court. An investigator spoke with a friend of the family who recorded Morphew accusing Suzanne of sleeping with a man in a basement, and Morphew allegedly said he would shoot off his balls and he would shoot uh, and shove them down his throat if he found the guy. His defense made it clear that there was only one search of find a cute girl in Salida, and they question the state's knowledge of whether they knew for certain it was Morphew who was searching those dating websites. A deleted text from Suzanne to Morphew on his phone was called a significant step for Suzanne in her relationship. It reads, I'm done. I could care less what you're up to and have been for years. We just need to figure this out civilly. Only one investigator took the stand today. FBI agent Johnny Grusing spoke extensively about the timeline of Morphew's events after and the day before Suzanne went missing. That information, he said, came directly from data of Morphew's phone and truck, as well as an interview, multiple interviews with Morphew. The data showed Morphew making five trash trips before arriving at his hotel in Broomfield. The only piece of trash Morphew could remember throwing away was a, tr a tranquilizer material. The investigators briefly mentioned finding a cap to a tranquilizer dart in the dryer at the home, but didn't have time today to elaborate. The investigator said Morphew's initial testimony of events differed from video captured on surveillance cameras in Broomfield. 
in Broomfield where he was on May 10th. The judge ended today saying this is not a trial. The prosecution asked the judge to pay closer attention to timing. They said that the defense had more time than the state. And of course, Morphew will be in court in two weeks. And Suzanne Morphew's family is expected to be there. Reporting live outside the Chafee County Court, Lauren Shar for Fox 21 News. We are learning more and new details about the day Suzanne Morphew was reported missing during day two of her husband, Barry Morphew's preliminary hearing today. Morphew faces first degree murder and remains in the Chafee County Jail without bond. Fox 21's Lauren Sharp was inside the courtroom and described what Morphew was doing the day she disappeared. It's been 15 months since Suzanne Morphew was reported missing. These flyers have mostly come down around town, despite her body not being recovered. The only person to take the stand on Tuesday was former FBI agent Johnny Grusing, who focused on the timeline of events of the days before Suzanne Morphew was reported missing on May 10th. A few days before Suzanne disappeared, she seemed to have had enough with their marriage and sent this text to Morphew. I'm done. I could care less what you're up to and have been for years. We just need to figure this out civilly. On May 9th, Agent Grusing said Suzanne sent a picture of her sunbathing to her lover, Jeff Libler, around 2 p.m. Her daughters were crying in the courtroom when they saw the last known photo of their mom alive. When Morphew arrived home, his phone was turned on airplane mode at 2.47 and wasn't turned back on until after 10 o'clock that night. On Mother's Day, Suzanne's phone pinged for the last time at 4.23 in the morning when Morphew had told investigators that Suzanne was asleep when he left for Broomfield at 5. While Morphew was away on Mother's Day in Broomfield for a landscaping job, he was seen on video surveillance making five trash drops in different spots around the area, but Morphew never disclosed what he threw away. From 12.42 p.m. until 5.55 p.m., Morphew does not leave his hotel room. He had told investigators that he was working on a retaining wall when he got the call about Suzanne missing, but video surveillance shows otherwise. Morphew is set to be in court again August 23rd and 24th. Suzanne's family is expected to be there as well. This will be the first time they will see Barry Morphew since his arrest. Reporting outside the Chafee County Courthouse, Lauren Scharf for Fox 21 news.